see something round and I see it in the mud, in the ground. What is it? Well, it looks like we've got a bottle here. It's a plain sauce bottle there. Look at that. Well, it looks like a nice bottle down here, look. Oh, look at that. Now, I have to cross the river to get to that side because there's a dump that side spilling into the river. So I'm going to leave that there because I've got to come back this way. So I'll take that one today. Look at that. Absolutely brilliant. Just got to remember it's there. <laughs> Fantastic. Hopefully that will clean up fantastically. We'll take a look at that. Little poison bottle. Plain one. Got loads of them. Oh look, I just got mud down my leg. Just come out that bottle. Yeah, it's a lovely little poison bottle. Fantastic. It's not got any writing on it, but it's got ridges on it. Lovely. Bottle stopper. Oh, it's a lovely war grade stopper. Lovely, yeah, got war grade on it. Used it during the war to save on vulcanite and rubber. What is this here? 16 ounce oxo, I think. I don't know, it's lovely. Big bovril, Alex would say. Well, let's have a game of spot the find. Can you spot the find? Let's slowly walk over. There it is. Looks like an ink. Oh, it's broken on the top, but here we are, lovely ink. Hope to find a complete one of these very soon. I've not found one in a while. That one looks mounted. Hmm, lovely. The water's nice and clear today, so we'll be able to spot a few more bits and bobs in the river. Look, lovely pot there. Right, let's just have a little walk. I'm not going to turn off the camera, and we'll just see what we can find. Oh, look, marmalade. Oh, it's broken. Yeah, let's just have a little walk. Never know what could be found. Can't wait till the summer and spring. Oh look, lovely jar. So we'll be able to get some see-through buckets on this creek. That'd be cool, wouldn't it? Oh, there's a little bottle there. Look at that, little diddy one. There we are. Fantastic. You just find things everywhere. I'm not going to take all this stuff today because there's so much in the shed. But it's just some examples of what you can find down here. Look at that. Oh, I'm definitely going to be taking that. It's a lovely little sheer top, that. Fantastic. In the bag it goes once I get it out of my backpack behind me. Alright, let's just have a look along. Oh, what's that there? Oh, it's just, just a shell. Alright, oh, what's this here? Is it a lid? What is it? Oh look, a little old teapot lid or something like that. Lovely. Oh, look at that over there. Oh, that is a nice one, that. Look at that. Lovely. Camp coffee, jiggery. Glasgow. Oh, that is a lovely colour. Patterson's. Look at that aqua. Oh, that is definitely coming back. Gonna get the mud out of that. Fantastic. All in the bag that go. In a second. There we are. All cleaned up a little bit. That is fantastic, that lovely colour as well, look at that. Yeah, lovely camp coffee. Nice bit of metal work down here. I wonder what this could have been from. 
looks like a very large thimble and it does have some iridescent not iridescence I mean um, and it does have some kind of pattern on I think so yeah we'll take that we'll give it a little swishy swash in the river quickly and um, just in case it is just junk and just you know double check yeah it does look like it's got something on it look I don't think you'll be able to see that because it's so tiny yeah I wonder we'll take that fantastic we'll have a look later on in the shed I see something round and I see it in the mud in the ground what is it big phase or something by the looks of it no idea it's broken whatever it is yeah we'll leave that let's see it float down the river well, it might sink <laughs> it's like an offering I'm giving the offering to the creek it will sink in a minute once it hits the rocks over there <laughs> fun and games down the creek all right there's a bottle here now one day I'm hoping to find a green one Oh, it looks like an old one, this one. Do a little wash. Yeah, really nice old bovril. Lovely. Oh, hang on. Yeah, two ounce bovril. Lovely. Well, a bottle there. Poke my conscience. Right, let's have a look. Oh, my goodness, it's full of black stuff. That's probably all the mud, but it is a lovely sheer top, so we are going to go give it a little wishy swash down in the creek. Like usual. I'll try not to sink today. This mud is very treacherous. I haven't been in this part in a while. So, um, yeah, oh, what's that there? Oh, just a Vaseline, I think. Right, let's have a little swish. Oh, blimey. Oh, it is a bit chipped on there. We'll leave it then. But look at this here. Look, you see that? I know it's broke, but let's just have a look at that maker's mark, shall we? Look, oh my goodness, look at that. Oh, it's a shame that is broken. Look at that. Lovely old sweat, sweeps, however you say it. Oh, look at that. Oh, never mind. Hopefully, I'll find a complete one one day. What's this here? I see stuff everywhere. Oh, blimey, it fell. Good old jar, by the looks of it. Right, oh, what's that there? What is this? Modern bottle. Well, oh, it's a nice shell here. Look at this. Lovely imprint in the mud. Look at that. Oh, blimey, I don't want to drop it. These are very delicate, these. Now, this could date anywhere to Victorian. If you really think about it, because Victorians always ate them. Right, let's go give it a little swishy swash in the mud. Look at that, it's got some lovely iridescence to it. Yeah, I know it's just a shell, but I'm going to take it. Place a pipe on it or something, you never know. Looks like it's a ginger jar. But it's got a hole in. Never mind, we'll leave that one there. But I've got to remember to take this shell with me. But, just over here, looks like there's a bottle. Oh, look at that. Oh, my blood. Oh look at that. Oh look at that. has got lovely iridescence on it. Lovely clean bottle as well. Just got to get the mud out at home. That should clean up lovely, shouldn't it? Alex has got something. What's that? A milk bottle? Looks like a milk bottle. Give it a little swishy swash. Down in the river. <laughs> Just drops it. What is it? It looks like a milk bottle. Oh, that's a brick. <laughs> You've lost it now. I thought I'd do other bottle with alcohol. Yeah, it's a milk bottle or pickle. By the looks of it. All that gunk out. I should have a name on it. Yeah. That's it. Oh, it does, isn't it? It probably does, it's just a moss. Because it looks like it has from here. Let's have a little closer look there. Yeah, I'll say that's a milk or pickle, Alex. Lovely. A few things here. What's this? Oh, that's a part of an old barge um, thingy midget. I'm going to take that. I'll leave that there. And then there's a jar here. <laughs> yeah, there's a jar here. Look at that, Alex. 
pickle jar. Yeah, that is a pickle jar, isn't it? Lovely. Yeah, so that, that's part of a barge crunk or something. I know what they are, but I don't know the name. It's where they have the ropes on to put the uh, mask up. Yeah, that's lovely. That's definitely 18th, 19th century immediately. And this is where they broke up all the um, barges in Sittingbourne. Oh, look, I've got some water on the camera. Apologies. Look at that, yeah, lovely creek. <laughs> look, it's definitely signs of old barges. Look at that nail. Look at that. Massive, isn't it? Is that a pin? I think it's one of those pins they put in the woods on the decks. Must be. No, it's not. What do you think it is? I don't think it is. Not sure. Mud, mud. Glorious mud. Lovely, jubbly. Well, there's a bottle here. I know it's broken, but let's just have a look. Oh, look at that. It's home embossing on that. Here, can you wipe that off for me? Yeah. What's that? What's that got on it? Let's have a look. I wonder. I've got my hands full. Oh, be careful because it's broke. Don't get yourself. Uh, what's that got on it? Yeah, that should be enough to read it. Rochester, that says at the bottom. Um. <laughs> a lot of mud. Yeah, I might take that. Give it a little wash up. Showing a hole in it. Yeah, it's easy to put a candle or something in there. Fairy light. Here, give it here. Let me have a little read. Phillips and Pet. Rochester. Oh, that's in Kent, isn't it? Yeah, lovely. I might take that. We'll, yeah, we'll leave it here and we'll collect it on the way back. Fantastic. There's a bottle there. Let's have a look. Old whiskey or something. Something like that. Called a gunk out. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Look, we're on an industrial bit of foreshore now. Very nice indeed. Oh, wellies. Oh, a metal thing here. Oh, blimey, my wellies got stuck. A little swish. Could it be a ring? Um, what is that? No idea, we'll have a look later on. Could it be a ring? Looks like an old ginger here. No, it's broken, but let's just have a look, see if it had anything on it. No, it was a plain one. Thank goodness, because it is broken, but we'll leave it there. Look at that. River art. What's this here? What is this? Oh, it's one of those inks, blacking pots. Oh, I've got so many of them. Leave that one there for someone else. And just over here, there's a bottle. Let's see if it's complete or not. Modern whiskey or something, vodka or something. All right, there's a few bits here. There's a pickle jar there. And then there's a cream pot here. Oh, I've got loads of them as well. Hopefully I'll find one with embossing on one day. Here we are. Oh, what's this here? One of those pots. Yeah, toothpaste pot. No lid. Yeah, lovely. Well, you see that there? There's the man himself. Alex, the bothrel man. Let's have a look. Oh, no bothrel today, Alex. What's that there? Oh, look at the iridescence on that. Old sauce bottle. Lovely. Oh, what's that there? Oh. Oh, look at that. How cute's that? That's definitely coming back with me. Lovely. Well, what's this interesting white thing? Oh. Oh, what on earth is that? It's broken unfortunately, got a little chip. Oh that would have been lovely. Never mind. Right, let's have a little dip in this creek. Oh what's that there? Oh what is that? A little jug? Oh it is. I think a little jug. <laughs> broken unfortunately. Right now that's a big lid. Look at that. Panyan I think but it's one of those big ones. But it is mounted so it's probably been in a fire. Well, just down here, looks like a little cream pot. Yep, 
lovely cream pot. Now there is so many broken torpedoes around here. Let's all find a complete one. What's this? Knob, doorknob. Well, I've just pulled this out of the mud. It's an old tin. Wonder how old this could be. Look at that. It does have some writing on. Right, I'll get the mud out and I'll come back to you. Wow. Wonder how old this could be. Let's get all the mud out. I'm on mud. <laughs> Alright, yeah, I washed it up. Looks old, it's got iridescence on it. Wash it up and I'll come back. Lovely. Looks like a nice little lid. Yeah, nice little lid. I don't do anything with lids, so I'm going to have to leave it this time. But yeah, I'm going to go give this ink a little wash in a minute. I keep saying I will, but I haven't yet. <laughs> keep carrying it. Well, here we go. I'll give it a little wash. And I can see there's something on it, but um, I'm not sure what. It's a bit squished. Now, it does. Ha it looks like it had some handles on it. So, oh, I wonder. I wonder what it is. We'll have a look later on in the shed. That's nice, isn't it? What's that to say? Holbrooks and Co. Lovely. Two bottles I've just pulled out here. Lovely old sheer top there, look at that. Very nice, got all that mud out. Yeah, very nice aqua bottle there. And a mounted HP garden sauce, look at that. Leave them there for a minute because I've just seen something else. What is that there? Oh, it's just broken glass. Oh, look. So look. What's it say? Gardens HP sauce. They sure did like their gardens around here. What's this here? Flower pot. Part of a doll fragment or something there. And it looks like it's a bottle. Oh, what's this? Oh, one of those um, medical bottles, screw top. Well, I'm approaching something now. What's this here? Looks like a nice little inkwell or something, doesn't it? Never seen one like that before. Lovely. Looks like another saucy bottle here. Lovely sauce. Screw top though. These things are everywhere, aren't they? Look at that for a bit of pottery. Lovely bit of flour. That's nice, isn't it? few bits around here again another sauce bottle looks like a paste pot yeah good old shippums what's this here beer bottle um, is this embossed not that I can see vulcanite top bottle and somewhere was another Oh, it's broken, but it's a um, HP pickle jar. Lovely. Always got to check this pottery. Oh, look at that one. <laughs> look at that. How cool is that? Very nice. What's this? Oh, some kind of plinth. Something like that. A bit broken, though. Mr. Phil Johnson would love that. Lovely. That's a Let's Go of the Johnsons, by the way, if you haven't checked out their lovely YouTube channel. Fantastic. Is that a Bovril? Yes, it is. Good old Bovril. What's that there? Oh, a bit of stoneware. That's what I like to see. Yep, yeah, I'll be taking that today. Lovely. All right, there's a few more bits here. What's this? What's that say there? Wow! Sitting Bourne Cooperative Society. That's a lovely local bottle. That's definitely coming back with me. I'll leave that in my little pile there. Alright, let's see what else. What's this here? Bit of broken glass. Lovely Holbrook's um, sauce bottle. Paste pot. It's fine, it's everywhere. What's this? A bit of marmalade. Alright, let's just have a little walk. What's this here? Probably an R White's broken. Alright, there's a things everywhere today, isn't there? Have a sauce, mount your bottle, that. 
All right, let's have a look around here. Part of an egg cup there, look. <laughs> Old egg cup. Oh, oh, what's this here? Oh, here we are, lovely. Californian fig syrup. Lovely jubbly. It's coming back, leave that on the side, pick it up on the way back. Oh, wow. Oh, white lemonade. Lovely, I'm not gonna take it, look at it. Squished, mounted. But if anybody would like a mounted bottle, let me know and I'll come back and get it for you. Look at that. Right, let's have a look. Keep looking, what's this here? What's this? Broken. Oh, oh, that's definitely coming back with me. Lovely old jar. Fantastic. Put it on the pile there. Alright, let's keep looking. Keep on looking. There's things everywhere. Looks like an old bowl here, but I've just broken it. Yeah, I don't think it's that old anyway. Yep, yeah, old bowl. A few bits around here. What's that? Oh, look. <laughs> Fancy finding this. Eiffel Tower lemonade. Squished. Broken. Yeah, broken. What's this? Modern. What's this here? Old oh, pickle jar. Look at that. What's that? Oh look, an old candle stick. Very nice. Probably 1930s or something. Doesn't look terribly old. But it's still nice, isn't it? Shame it's broken. I would have put a candle in it. Well, while it's stuck in that candle stick, I found this little bottle. Look at that. Lovely little cute thing. Wow, well, I just found a skittle bottle. Look at this. Get all the mud out. Get a little swish. Right, what's that say then? Chapman and Co. London. Oh, it's a shame it's broken, isn't it? I would have taken that. Lovely. Maybe next time. A few bits around here. What's this here? Oh, just a rock, bottleneck, jar, and a jar. <laughs> What's this here? Oh, it's embossing. What's that say? Tablespoons. Good old tablespoons, lovely. We'll leave that then, so I've got loads of them. Just over here, I see something. What is that? Oh, melted bottle, but this is, oh, there we are. There we are. Good old jar, not genuine unless Hartley's label. <laughs> I wish jam came like that today. Lovely, I'll be buying it every day. See that mud come out there, look. Oh, it's one of my trousers. <laughs> What's this here? Plant pot, yeah, that's nice. It's definitely coming back with me. Genuine and less Hartley's label. What's this here? Medical bottle. Some of these have writing on, so I always double check before I put them back. Yeah, that one doesn't have writing on, so we'll leave that, but it's still a nice example. They're hard to clean these things, that's why I tend to leave them. What's that? Old oh, lid. There's things everywhere around here. You just gotta get out and look. Loads of broken stuff though, look. Look, just see loads of stuff. Just pause the video and you can see them all. <laughs> Always fun. Right. It's just, oh, is that another jar? Is that another jar there? Oh, well, it's a broken fragment of a jam jar. Yeah, we'll take this one instead. <laughs> What's that there? Let's have a look. Oh, no top on it. That's a shame, isn't it? Never mind. Right, I know it's broken, but I'm collecting some pottery. Right, no, nothing on there. Right, let's keep on looking. See what we can find. Look, sherds and sherds everywhere. Fragments of the past. Absolutely everywhere. Look, oh, look at that. What's this here? Oh, nice bit of metal work. I'll have a look at that later on, but also, 
when you're here you've also got to have a look under the woods right I can't lift that wood up because it's actually under so I've shoved the camera under there well I can't see anything good you're all complete so I'm gonna trust that and there's nothing there oh look at this here I see a maker's mark oh J Bourne pottery by the looks of it broken again right it doesn't matter we'll go give this a little wash now lovely ink I see another bottle stopper. Right, let's give it a little wash. Let's see what it can be. Oh, I dropped it. Where's it gone? Oh, there it is. Oh, big old B. B for what mudlarking find begins with a B. <laughs> Good old BB. There we are. Nice square bottle there. Look at that. Just give it a little wash. There we are, look at that. It does have a chip in it. There, but it doesn't really matter, does it? Lovely. There's a bottle here. What is this? It's an odd shape, isn't it? I might take that. Looks a little clean up, lovely. Oh, got all the mud out. Some black mud. Right, let's give it a little wash quickly before my camera dies because I've only got a few percent left right, look at that oh my goodness look I think it's still got his cork in that's why the mud ain't coming out oh look at that lovely aqua there lovely well what is this here oh look at that has it got any maker's marks on it I don't think so Oh, it does. What's it say? Oh, it just says England. <laughs> Look at that. England. Well, you never know. We'll give it a little wash off at home. Might have a maker's mark on it. I love collecting old plates and things like that. I have a few of maker's marks on at home. Oh, well. Now, look at this. A blue pop. Now, a few months ago, I found a blue lid. Now, I wonder if it fits this. We shall have to try it when we get home. What a weird find to find in the creek. An old telephone. <laughs> hello, hello, where's the clay pipes, mister? You're right, Stan. Are you doing a bit of mudlarking, are you? Well, make sure you find me some clay pipes and bring them back to the depot and get a bus out. <laughs> Very old telephone. Wonder how old it is. Bottle stopper. Glass one. By the looks of it, yeah. Plain one. In the bag it goes. Oh, it's a find here. Looks like one of those old wooden pegs that they use in construction. Let's have a look. Get a wash. It might not be. That's what it looks like. It probably is. Have a look later on, maybe. Or if you know what it is, let me know in the comments. Well hi everyone and thank you for joining me on that absolutely fantastic mudlark on the Thames Estuary. I will never ever get bored of the landscape, the industrial landscape that's always been there and all the wildlife, the river, the sun, the sky, it all makes a great experience while mudlarking. 
I think in terms of mudlarking finds, it's going to be very hard for me myself to beat 2022 because I found such fantastic things. I found my first ever longest 1700s clay pipe. Even a clay pipe with an anchor on it with a distinctive rare unknown design because it has the Victorian crown on it. And let's not forget about my pot lid and my hefty poison bottle. I've even found some things I've not even told you about from 2022. So there's even more finds from 2022 to carry on into 2023, such as this video. Right, so let's start off with this bottle here. It says Sloan's Liniment, made in the USA. Sloan's Liniment is an 18th century temporary relief of muscle or joint pain caused by strains, arthritis, bruising or backaches. Now it was made in the USA and it's still made today. Isn't that fantastic to see history still carried on today? Now we have this bottle here. It says Glasgow Essence Camp Coffee and Chicory Pattisons. It's a lovely colour as well as you saw in the video. Uh, I never get bored of finding these. Created in 1876 to accompany the Gordon Highlands, a British Army Influent Regiment on their campaign to India. It allowed them to satisfy their coffee craving while on the road or camping out. As it says, camp coffee. And this bottle does have some lovely iridescence to it, which I like. Now I've got a few bottle stoppers, lovely war grade and a B, whatever that stands for, and a Barrett's & Co bottle stopper, which is quite nice. Now the rubber seal has come off but I'm sure I'll be able to get that back on there, like so. Yeah, I always love finding bottle stoppers. Good old Bovril, Bovril as Alex would say, good old Bovril. This is a tiny one, it's a one ounce, I think, or half an ounce. I'm not sure, it doesn't even say on it. So yeah, it's lovely little Bovril there. I hope to find a green one one day. It's a big dream. Lovely clear medical bottle. I never get bored of them either. This one's lovely iridized as well. Absolutely fantastic, top number three at the bottom. Yeah, it's cleaned up lovely. Not a stain that I can see, just a few scratches. Lovely cream pot. Now, when I first started mudlarking in 2019, I used to find these all the time and I used to leave them because silly me thought they were ash herns. Um, I've got no idea why, but um, yeah, I, I learned that they're not and they're cream pots. So I began to take them, but if I just took them all, blimey. I would have hundreds of them. I usually find them, I don't record them, but that one was splendid. Look at that, absolutely fantastic. Lovely pot, little marmalade pot. It's got loads of crackles in it as well. It's cleaned up lovely. Lovely jubbly as I would say. Yeah, very nice indeed. Now I did take the big bottle, look at that. It's cleaned up okay-ish, it's got a few stains on it, but I can't get them off. I think this bottle has been in a fire because it does have some indents in it. And when I, what I mean by that is the glass has been squished like that. Um, so it's probably laid down like that and two things have pressed up against it, meaning the indents. But um, yeah, it's a lovely bottle. I don't think you can tell on the camera, but it is squished like that. Um, but yeah, it is really nice indeed. Now I found this bottle here. I've never seen a bottle that shape before. Look at that. Lovely aqua, green, tinted colour, whatever you want to call it. Um, but yeah, it's a plain one does have D103 on the bottom. Yeah, it's a lovely bottle indeed. Lovely colour. Probably late 1800s, I would imagine. Now, I found this lovely bottle here. Lovely dark green glass, and it does say Cops Reg D on it. No idea what it is. Um, I did try to do some research on it, but I can't find anything about it. So, if anybody could help me, identify this bottle k-o-p-s-r-e-g-d then please let me know in the comments below because i'd love to know and so would you now moving on me and alex did go up the creek a little bit further the next day and went onto the little barge site where back in the 1800s they destroyed all the barges and dumped all the rubbish all the wood all the nuts and bolts in the creek and we did come across two historic things. Now look at this. This is an old decking pin. Um, it's wood. So how on earth those barges stayed up? I have no idea because as soon as you put water on wood it expands. So how did they not sink? 
um, but they are lovely boats, barge boats. Now I can't bring back the barge, but um, the barge wreck, I don't think I've shown you yet, but I will in a future video. But of course I can bring back things like this, back to live and put it in the shed here. Lovely. And talking about barges, I also found another piece of a barge. Look at that. This is an old 18th century pulley, barge pulley. And that makes something different than finding a bit of old bottle and um, clay pipe. Yeah, it's lovely. Now this would have been on the ropes where they pull up the masts on the ropes. Where they pull the ropes to put the mask up and down, of course, when in anchor. Yeah, this is um, very nice. And I absolutely am grateful that the aerobic mud um, has preserved this very well. But it does seem to have something on it because um, my hands are turning black. But yeah, that is a lovely piece of a barge. Now, as I said again, can't bring the barge home. But I can bring things like this home. Now, a few weeks ago, I found this blue lid. And in this video, I found the blue pot. Now, the moment of truth that we've all been waiting for. Does it fit? Let's have a look. Oh no, the lid's too big. Oh well, it doesn't matter, does it? <laughs> We'll try and keep that like that. Yeah, it's lovely, isn't it? It says half ounce on the bottom of that. Yeah, I've never seen a blue lid and a pot together. Have you? Let me know in the comments. Now, my personal find so far of the video and, of course, of the year is this. Now, it may look like a bit of scrap to you, but this is a lovely pewter tankard or gallon, whatever you like to call it. And I've been told by many people on Facebook that this could date anywhere between the 18th century and 19th century. This is probably from an 18th or 19th century tavern and just dumped in the creek. It could have been on a barge. Talking about barges, we've got loads of barge evidence here in the video today. So you never know. Sailor could have been having a little booze up on the boat and then just throw it up and then just throw it in the river. For me to find, of course. But it does have some embossing on, which I do need you to help me with. Now, I can see EWTP. Now, many people are baffled of this, and um, even some creators on this YouTube app are as well, because none of us can correctly identify this, because we're all coming up with different names. Now, I can see personally EWTP, but other people have seen DP, D-O. Now... What can you see? I'll leave it up on the screen now. Please do let me know as this is going to be a masterpiece here in the shed, of course. And it does have some lovely iridescence on it. Now, unfortunately, it's missing, missing the handle there where my two fingers are. So you can just imagine how big it was. And this is actually quite heavy. Um, you can just imagine it when it was full of mud and I was scooping all the mud out. Blimey, it was heavy. But this is even heavier now since it's dried. Not sure why. Now, many of you are going to be asking, Adam, 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 are you going to bend it back? Now, no, I'm not going to bend it back because here it has split. I have noticed when I was watching it, it has split. So, um... Of course, when the hot water mixes with pewter, it does tend to go flexible. Um, so in that case, I'm not going to bend it back because I am petrified it would snap and I would destroy history. And plus, who wouldn't want the indentation of history? I love it. Look at that. I wouldn't want to drink out of it, of course, but me, it is lovely. So if anybody could help me or point me into the right direction of identifying... Um, the maker's marks and of course the age is very very uncertain um, I have asked my local 
museum city born in sitting born but um even they are very unsure about this piece of history here but it has been shown on many many facebook groups online so if anybody can point me into the right direction please email me with the email in the description or just leave a comment on the video or follow me on facebook at the victorian mudlark and just drop me a message because i'll love to know and i will keep you all updated on the youtube if i find anything on the community page so um please please try and have a look at this because um i would love to know and i'm sure you will as well look at that lovely masterpiece of goodness knows how old of history surprise it's even lasted because i've gone in that creek since 2019 and i just keep going up and down the same part and not once have i spotted that and we've had no storms at all so how it's been revealed at the mud it's very uncertain you could say um unless parts of the mud slipped away um it's not a lot of erosion happens in this creek because it just goes up down up down boring <laughs> so um it's not like the river thames um but yeah if anybody could let me know let me know enough of my waffling now so if you've enjoyed the video please give me a like comment and subscribe if you haven't already i'm very very fortunate to have a fantastic mudlarking community on this youtube channel absolutely love you all and um if you'd like to follow me on facebook then please do i've got a new facebook page called the victorian mudlark um i was I, I did have an old one called adam sitting ball mudlark but i've changed that now to the victorian mudlark so please drop me a like and a follow on there i'll leave the links in the description for you and of course instagram the victorian mudlark and yeah so if you'd like to support the channel even further, I have a few links in the description for you, including my Kofi and Amazon wish list. Many thank you to my Kofi supporters. I really do appreciate all your support. And so does this. <laughs> um, I can't stop looking at it. It's so intriguing, you could say. So many beautiful colours. Um, yeah. History is fantastic and I love it. So, in my next video, hopefully I will have an answer for you about this thing uh, tankard um, so yeah please leave me a like comment and subscribe and I'll see you again very very soon I'm wishing you all luck if you're going mud larking this week or bottle digging or tip larking metal detecting whatever you may do and just luck even if you're not so I'll see you again very very soon thank you bye bye <laughs>
said I love you forever We can make it together